Hello and welcome to uh, Flash Animation. Uh, we are specifically starting on our Chapter 5. Now in this particular case, what we're, what we're trying to do is we're trying to put a mask in combination with an object and a movement so we kind of have a animated um, marquee going on. And there were some issues that I found this as we go through and I'll kind of explain what went on. So the very first thing I, I did is I opened up uh, FL5 underscore 1 and I'm going to insert and I'm going to do uh, timeline and I'm going to do layer so it's going to give me a new layer. And that new layer I'm going to call mask. Mask. Then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to in use my oval tool. So I'm going to go over along here make sure my oval tool is selected and on the mask layer I'm going to create an oval tool that has a no stroke or outline which is a better term still and I'm going to create a circle to the left of the classic car club and it's not going to do it because it's going to be the wrong tool selected because I'm having that type of morning so we're going to try this again. So here, well, circle. Yes, I can draw a circle. Look at that. Look at the skill. All right, so I've got the circle then. Then what I want to do is I want to use my marquee, and I'm going to grab the circle itself. I want to insert motion tween at this point in time. Insert motion tween. Yes, I want to have it convert to an object. And then I want to click frame 40. And then I'm going to position the circle on the other side of the classic car club. Now, you'll note in this particular case, nothing is exciting at this point. It's exactly what we've done before. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that the mask timeline is selected. And then I want to do modify, and then I want to do timeline layer properties. Now, in this particular case, this allows me, I'm going to push lock, and I'm going to make this a mask. And the way this is going to work is, everything that is on this level will be masked, except for what you can see of this circle. So this circle is actually kind of a viewing port that allows you to see below it. So the way this is going to work is the circle is going to move across, and you're going to see what's underneath the circle, the layer underneath the circle, as it moves across. Um, the issue that I had before, and let's see if I actually have this again. Let's see, there's a mask option button, right? So mask, OK. So it's my mask, and there's OK. And then what I am do is, and basically what happens is it moves across, not big, not a big surprise. So now what I do is I have to link the uh, item below it, which is the heading below it, and make sure that it is a um, masked option. Now what happened last time with this, when I clicked the heading, and then I went to modify, um, and I want to do, let's see, modify timeline layer properties. It, oh, well, this time it's allowing me to do it. Awesome. Now, what happened last time, and this may happen a few, a few times to people, is it doesn't allow you to choose the masked option. Last time I did this, it didn't allow me to do it. So what I actually had to do is I had to create a whole new layer on which to base the Classic Car Club on. And then I had to copy the Classic Car Club to that new layer and then actually connect it underneath the mask. If you have to do that, that's perfectly fine. That's how I solved it before. Uh, so in this particular case, I didn't have to do that. Awesome. So now what I've done is I've clicked Show, Lock, and I made sure Mass is selected. And then I push OK. And the way it should work at this point is see, now what's going on is that circle as I draw it across shows me different elements. To give you another kind of example of it, if I made my circle larger, I could actually, before I did that, if I made my circle larger, what I could have done is I could have created a circumstance where I could have seen more things. So if I put two circles and a layer and a mask and, and it works to combine them that way. But ultimately the way this works is I get kind of a marquee as it goes across and lets me look at those type of things. So um, there you have it. If you have any particular questions, that concludes Chapter 5, uh, Lesson 1. And it actually worked out pretty good. Uh, it was a lot harder to do before when it didn't work correctly. So thank you very much for your time. Have a good day, and I'll see you in Lesson 2.